The reality, the, the reality of the Landis Banky Guernsey uh, affair for all of us, and I certainly speak, I'm speaking very much from the heart for myself, is that it is the first thing that I think about as I wake in the morning, uh, and it's the last thing I think about when I go to bed at night. So it's not even my account, but I would say that the emotional impact has been so great on me that those are that is the feeling that I have and I can honestly say when the news broke in uh, October 08 I broke down in tears I sat on my sofa at home and I wept and it is not very often that as a grown man that I weep but that that was the impact that I had because it upset me so much I think that since since dad died and that was a real a real tragedy an unexpected tragedy um, you know that was one thing and, and then to have this happen to mum on top of it it's it kind of it's just it was been, just terribly terribly upsetting it and really was i know mum puts a brave face on things but it, it really has had a, a horrible impact on her one of my great regrets you know for my father uh, is that he didn't spend more of the money that he'd accrued you know over the years mm. uh, and my mum you know again with through for hard work throughout her working life has managed to put by her savings to enjoy you know, in her later years, uh, and my father died in 2006, actually, paradoxically, about two months prior to the takeover of, of Landers Banky. So, uh, you know, all our lives have been thrown into a uh, disarray, really, you know, since that time. And then coming on top of all that was the collapse of the bank, you know, my mother's savings all there, ready for, you know, her enjoyment for the you know, rest of her years. But it's my mum's life savings, and it's, they've been snatched away. Uh, mm. principally because of the the incompetency of of greedy fat cat bankers in other parts of the world um, and, and a collapse of the system that has been predominantly overseen by George Bush and, George, and Gordon Brown uh, and, and I do see Gordon as being one of the prime movers and supporters of, of, a, of a banking system whose regulation has signally failed.